I'm going to show you how to manage Microsoft Edge using Group Policy. So to start, we want to open up a web browser and download the Microsoft Edge ADMX files. So to do that, if we just search for Microsoft Edge ADMX files, and then come to the first link, which is Configure Microsoft Edge for Windows with Policy Settings. In here, we can select Download and Install the Microsoft Edge Administrative Template, and then select the Microsoft Edge Enterprise Landing Page. Here, we can scroll down, and then under Windows 64-bit, we can download the Windows 64-bit policy. We can then agree and accept the download, and this will download our policy templates. Once that's downloaded, if we open up our downloads, we can then double click the CAB file. It will give us our zip file. We can then right click the Microsoft Edge policy template zip file, press extract, select our downloads folder, and then press extract again. This will then extract the files to our downloads. So if we come into the zip file, and then come into Windows, we've got our ADMX files. The next thing we want to do is make these files accessible to our group policy editor. So if we open up Group Policy Management, then within Group Policy Management, we can come to our Group Policy Objects, create a new Group Policy Object, and I'll call this Microsoft Edge Settings. Then we can right-click the Microsoft Edge Settings and come to Edit. Then under Computer, and then Policy, and then Administrative Templates, we can see we've got Administrative templates, policy definitions, retrieved from the central store. Yours might say local computer, but what we need to know is where they're currently stored. So if they're stored on the local computer, you want to open up File Explorer, and then come to the C drive, Windows, and then Policy Definitions, and then we'll store the files in here. However, if like mine, it says in the central store, what you'll want to do, browse to your Active Directory domain, then come to the sysfile folder, the local domain, and then in policies, we've got policy definitions. So this is our group policy central store. So if we keep that open on one side, and then on the other side, we'll open up our ADMX files. What we want to do is scroll to the bottom of our ADMX files and grab the msedge.admx, msedgeupdate.admx, and msedgewebview2 admx. And then we'll just copy and paste these into our policy definitions folder. And then we'll want to select our relevant language files. So in my case, it's ENUS. And then again, copy the ADML files for all three. And then our policy definitions, scroll to the top and select our language folder. And then paste the ADML files in there. So now our group policy editor has access to the files. We can close our file explorer and then edit our group policy object. So if we come to Computer Configuration, and then Policies, and then Administrative Templates, we can see we've now got Microsoft Edge Group Policy Settings. So if we come into the Microsoft Edge, these are all the settings we can configure for Microsoft Edge. So just as an example, I'll select Block All Ads on Bing Search Results. We can just go in and then enable the setting. This is just an example, so you'll want to go through and configure this to however you want. So I've enabled that setting now. So if I close the Group Policy Editor, and then come to the Microsoft Edge Settings, and then come to Settings, once this generated the report, we can expand it out, and we can see we've got our Group Policy Settings. So now all we need to do is apply this to the OUs that we want. So in my case, this is a computer configuration, so I want to come to my Workstations OU, and then just drag on Microsoft Edge Settings over the Workstations OU, and now all of our workstations will get this GPO. If we were doing user configuration, we just apply this to our users OU, and then it would apply to all the users. However, as this is a computer configuration, I've just applied it to my workstations. Now all of the workstations within this workstations OU will get these relevant Microsoft Edge settings. So that's how to use group policy to manage Microsoft Edge.